Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome back to my Screeps Newbie Guide. It has been a while, hasn't it? Today I'm gonna talk about setting up a local private server for some single player action. So if you start Screeps from Steam, you get prompted with this message, which asks you to either start Screeps or launch a dedicated server. This is a little confusing, because if you want to set up a local server, which you want to connect to with the same Steam client, then choosing the lower option is actually the wrong way to go. If you launch a dedicated server from here, you will start a server, yes, but you will not be able to connect to it with the same Steam client. So instead, choose to um, start Screeps regularly and wait for it to load up, which takes a few seconds, um, and then uh, press the Change Server button up here, and then press the Start Server button down here. This will open up a Screeps server window and start a server, and that's actually it already. The server is running now and we can connect to it by just typing in localhost for the host and 21025 for the port. We press connect and we are on the server. We choose a player name, thpine, we skip the email thingy and choose the random batch, save, and we're on the server. Now we can choose the room and place a spawn and start playing. That's it. There we go. Server is running. Okay, so... You might notice there are some players here already. Basically, the default behavior of the server is when it's get when it gets started for the first time or when it gets reset, it will spawn four simple bots in the corners of the map so you have something to play against. Those bots are pretty stupid and not very good at the game, but they are there already for you to play against. Okay, cool. So let's take a closer look at the server window. So we have to launch a tab up here, which just gives you some status message and tells you that everything has started and um, everything is good to go. More importantly uh, is the CLI tab up here, command line interface, which allows you to put in commands to the server. So what commands are there? Well, you can type in help to get an overview and it will give you different categories of commands basically. And you can get more information about them by, for example, typing in help bots. And uh, this will give you a bunch of commands for bots. For example, let's say we want to get rid of at least one or maybe all of the simple bots that have spawned already. We can um, we can choose to we can use the remove user command. Bots remove user. Okay, so bots dot remove user. Then we need the name of the bot, which is Alice bot in this case. Alice bot. Uh, I think you have to put it into quotation marks. There we go. Uh, user removed successfully. Cool. Did it work? Let's take a look. Room's empty. Bot is gone. Cool, so you can remove them. You can also spawn them. Uh, let's not do that yet though, because um, I want to do that later. So instead, what we're going to do is talk about mods now. So you can press the mods button down here and we'll usually show you that you have no mods installed. Now you can go to the Steam Workshop and uh, download a mod. For example, you can download the 2Angel bot, which is a little bit more competent than the simple bot. Uh, you press subscribe, it will download, and um, now, important, you have to actually restart the server, I think. Uh, actually, it shows up here, cool. But I'm, I'm, I don't think we can use it yet. Um, so, let's restart the server. If, if, usually, if you install a new mod, you have to restart the server. So, uh, the easiest way is to go to back to the main menu and press the start server button here. And this will hopefully update uh, start the server again. Seems to work. You can check if the bot got installed by typing in help bots again. And it shows you all the installed AIs down here. The simple bot is there by default and it installed the Screeps bot to Angel as well. So cool. Now we have that. Let's connect to the server again. Do do do. Well, your remote scripts have. Well, doesn't matter. Um, okay, so everything is as we left it. You can close the server whenever. It will just not run if you close if you if you close it, and it will continue from where it was when you started again. So that's a really easy way of managing your your own world, basically. Okay, so let's let's say we want to start um, the creeps bot now. So uh, the the two angel bot. So there's a command for that, which is bots dot spawn. Okay, so we do that. Bots dot spawn. Bot AI name. So now you have to put in the name. The name is this part. So we copy that, put it in here, in quotation marks. The next is the room name. Uh, let's just pick this room, W1N9, okay. W1N9. And uh, then you can put in some options for, for uh, um, deciding where the spawn will be placed and stuff like that, how much CPU limit it has, which GCL it starts, things like that, or the name. 
if you want to. We're gonna omit that though. This is optional. So you do that, and it's spawned. It. Cool. So let's take a look. Seem to work. There it is. Riley bot. And um, as mentioned, the two angel bot is way better than the simple bot. So this will this can actually be a challenge. Probably not with this terrible room and this terrible spawn location. Uh, but it, it it also tells you what it what it what it does, which is kind of cute. <laughs> so that's cool. So that worked already. Cool. What else is there? Well, there are mods. I already shortly mentioned, but I only use it for bots right now. There are other things as well. To do mod thingies, um, you can either download them from Steam Workshop and just restart the server, and that should work. Um, or you can go to the to uh, you can press this button, mods adjacent, which will open up a folder on your computer. And this is the file that decides which mods are activated for your server. So we open that. This will open. You can open this in an IDE, or you can open it with the regular editor as well. It's just a uh, just a JSON file, so uh, nothing fancy here. Just plain text. And um, now you can see there are two variables: mods and bots. And bots shows the bots that are installed, and mods shows the mods that are used. No mods are being used. However, there are mods already on the server. If you go to the folder example mods, you get a list of mods here. And for example, one one interesting mod which you might want to change is the tick duration mod. So you can open that with a text editor or whatever or your IDE. Um, I just opened it with Notepad, and uh, you can take a look at it, and it will change the main loop min duration to a different amount. And this means the this this means that the the minimum amount um, a tick will take on the server can be changed. You can lower this to make the server run faster. If your CPU is not quick enough to make the server run as fast, it will not obviously. But this is just a minimum. So usually setting this to a lower number will make the server run quicker. However, I recommend not putting it to a lower number than 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second, because if you do that, the client will not handle it well, and you will see some weird skipping around of of creeps and I had problems placing buildings and stuff like that. So yeah, set it to 1000 if you want to want the server to run quick. If you just want to run it quick for a while without interacting with it, I guess setting it to lower works fine. But if you want to interact with it, I think not going lower than 1000 is recommended. Okay, so we saved this. Uh, you could obviously copy it and save it somewhere else. I just just use this file and, and change the value in it. But you could copy a file, put it somewhere else, like not example mods, but real mods or whatever, or my mods, and put it in there. And um, then we take a look at the mods example JSON. This this file is there to demonstrate us to how to include mods. It's very straightforward. You just put in the path of the mod into the mods um, uh, um, array. No, not array. Ob uh, object, I guess. Is that an, that's actually an array. Never mind. And um, you, we can just copy what we need, which is in this case tick duration JS. JS. So we copy this, put it into here, and press the save button. Now we restart the server by closing it and going back to the main menu and starting it again. And now the mod should be active. And if we, I'm not sure if it will show up here. I don't think it will. No, it doesn't. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think there's any indicator for us to see that. But if we take a look at uh, the colony, let's take a look at the at the A2 angel bot, for example. You will see that the creeps are uh, the creeps are moving fairly fast. Yeah, they're moving at like one one move per second. If we would reduce the tick count. Uh, the tick duration that would be even quicker but as mentioned the client doesn't handle that well so <laughs> use with care and well that's most of the things i wanted to cover uh, obviously there's way more to it like more in-depth stuff you can write your own mods and there is a community dedicated to that unfortunately no, most of them don't use steam workshop yet so the steam workshop is pretty empty so far but that might change um the guy who is working on the two angel bot he's actually called two angel on the slack for example um for example um is uh, still working on the bot and improving it so he might become a real channel challenge at some point which would be cool uh, also in general the slack is very very highly recommended if you want to if you need any help especially for the server stuff um, the, the the guys in the in the hashtag server channel helped me a lot uh, for for preparing for this video so thanks to them kudos um, really good good way of getting help with the scripts and um, yeah I think that's the stuff I want to talk about let me really shortly talk about the future of this series because uh, it was like asleep for a few months I want to say, and I kind of want to apologize for that, but I, I, just, I did, just didn't have the time to play Screeps, and especially the last few weeks and months where I didn't have much time, and like going into Screeps again is a huge time investment, 
uh, so I didn't care around doing it. And now I tried to try to do it again. Setting up the server was not that huge up, uh, like getting information about the pri private server was not that huge of an investment um, in time, but it was some as well. And yeah, I ho it hopefully gets better in December. Maybe I can make more scripts videos. I don't want to promise anything, but I'm gonna try to make more. So uh, my plan is to play a little around on uh, on a private server, either on my local one or I'd pick one. There's a list of um, private servers by other people. Um, if you don't want to play on the main server, uh, I will put it in a put the link in the description below. I will put the link to the Slack there as well, so you can check out those links if you want to. And um, yeah, I will play around on some private servers to to get back into the game and uh, improve my scripts a bit and see what what uh, what would be a good topic for video um, for for future episodes. And I'm gonna try to make more. I cannot promise anything right now. However, I'm not gonna play on the main server anytime soon, probably because um, I'm tight on money and tight on time. So um, making a money investment, uh, which I will not like, it will not be worth it because I will not invest the time. Um, to make it worth it as well, so that doesn't seem reasonable right now. So I'm probably gonna play around on private servers uh, because the subscription is actually pretty expensive for me right now. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna avoid that. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, I hope this video helped some people and uh, I hope I can uh, supply you with more Screeps content in the future. Um, I am TH Pine. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I got a lot, get a lot of views on on this this series, so I I really appreciate all the time people spend on watching my content. If you like my content, feel free to press the like button. If you don't, press the dislike button. That's okay as well. And always remember to have fun. And see you next time.